right. Thank, Thank you very much. much. नमस्कार दोस्तों तो ये तस्वीरें आपने देखी और ये एक्सक्लूसिव तस्वीरें थी ये उस वक्त की तस्वीरें हैं जब मीडिया का कोई भी शख्स वहाँ मौजूद नहीं था जब रोहित शर्मा आए मिलने के लिए ऑल टाइम ग्रेट अगर आप देखा जाए वेस्ली हॉल लेजेंडरी वेस्ली हॉल वो उन्होंने अपनी किताब लिखी है उस किताब के लिए लॉन्च के लिए और मुझे ख़ास तौर पर वेस्ट इंडीज़ के जो मीडिया मैनेजर हैं उन्होंने मुझे ख़ास तौर पर आमंत्रित किया उन्होंने कहा कि भाई आप बहुत ही पॉजिटिव कॉन्टेंट चलाते हो और आपके चैनल कि बड़ी धूम है तो हमने चाहा कि भाई आप इसको ज़रूर कैप्चर करें अपने दोस्तों को दिखाएं तो ये तस्वीरें जो हैं आप लोगों के लिए और जो राहुल द्रविड़ और वेस्ली हॉल की जो बातचीत हुई वो वो भी ज़बरदस्त है तो उसको भी आप देखें वेस्ली हॉल और राहुल द्रविड़ की रोहित शर्मा के आपने देखा ही तो मैं ज़्यादा कुछ नहीं बोलना चाहता हूँ आपको तस्वीरों के साथ छोड़ देता हूँ और आप विराट कोहली वाली भी स्टोरी ज़रूर देखिएगा बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया I, I want to, to have a little second okay. day. Yeah. Um, I'm so happy this morning, right? Because we have um, the best batsman in the world um, in your group. You have uh, a great batsman. I didn't think earlier that he wasn't playing. I can understand. Now he is a captain. And I think he's the most, one of the most successful captains. Must be so. Yeah, and then you know you have um, the, the coach who, in his day, I just love the back, yeah. same back. He's just so trying, he's just trying at the moment not to mess them up a little. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, he's just giving a mouth shot. Yeah, so, <laughs> so they can remain good batsmen. Yeah, yeah, I tell you, great player. So if you trade them, you know what I mean. It's so wonderful that they would give up their time, even if it's ten minutes. I think that's good. You know. Uh, so I want honor. to thank you very much. Thank you so much, sir. Thank, thank you. God bless you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Yes. 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 I will certainly read this. And, yeah, it's, it's an honor. Well, thank, thank you very much. Can we just get a quick picture together, if possible? Yeah. Could you show this now by this side? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Love it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Okay. Thank, thank you. Sir. Thank you very much indeed. Right. Thank you. Is the other one carry? नमस्कार दोस्तों पिछली बार जब मैं 2023 में दौरे पे आया था यही बारबाडोस में आपने देखा था कि किस तरह से गैरी सॉबर्स गैरी सॉबर्स द ग्रेटेस्ट गैरी सॉबर्स उन्होंने विराट कोहली से मिलने के लिए इंतज़ार किया इंतज़ार क्या मतलब विराट प्रैक्टिस करने के लिए गए थे उन्होंने कहा कि मैं विराट से मिलना चाहता हूँ और विराट से वो मिले और आज जो है विराट से मिलने के लिए एक अपने सर्वकालीन महान तेज गेंदबाज वेस्ली हॉल किसी भी ऑल टाइम इलेवन में वॉक कर सकता है खूंखार तेज गेंदबाज वो विराट कोहली का इंतज़ार कर रहे थे वो उनका कहना है कि भाई विराट कोहली के चलते मैं रात में जगता हूँ उसकी बैटिंग देखने के लिए क्योंकि वो दुनिया का सबसे बेहतरीन बैट्समैन है और जब विराट उनसे मिलने के लिए आ रहे थे तो वेस्ली हॉल का इंटरव्यू चल रहा था बहुत सारे प्रेस वाले सवाल ले रहे थे तो कई लोगों ने कहा कि नहीं नहीं विराट चले जाइए हम लोग प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस को रोक देते हैं विराट ने कहा कि नहीं वो इतने बड़े खिलाड़ी हैं उनकी प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस चल रही है मैं उनकी इज्जत करता हूं करने दीजिए मैं इंतज़ार करता हूं तो विराट जो है वहां पर इंतज़ार कर रहे थे मैं उनके बगल में ही खड़ा था मैं और दो और लोग थे और इस हमें भी मौका मिल गया कुछ उनसे उनके जो कुछ थाट हैं विज़न है उसको सुनने का कभी चर्चा करेंगे अभी तो नहीं अभी उचित नहीं होगा तो अच्छा लगा विराट को ऑफ कैमरा जो क्रिकेट की बातें जो जिस तरह से वो सोचते हैं मुझे बहुत अच्छा लगा एंड आए दैट्स वाई कंसिडर आज का दिन जो है बहुत ही अच्छा था जिसमें हमें उस तरह की बातें उनके विज़न को सुनने का मौका मिला और उसके बाद उनकी मुलाकात हुई तो वो तस्वीरें आपको दिखा देते बाकी और क्या कहूँ
no. Thank you. Sir, you're back again. Huh? Now, you're back again. 2000. Uh, you were there in 2007 ODI World Cup. Yeah, with the president. Yeah. Okay. And now again. Yeah. Okay. Sir, uh, just your experience. You uh, you have come here in the, in this ground. So just could you speak about that? Yeah. Well, yeah. I say I, I I played at this ground, but I think it's the only ground in the world that I didn't get tickets here. <laughs> Um, I tried too hard, I thought, because when I first came, I was unknown as a bowler, and I was trying so hard, and every time, you know, I didn't get runs. But, you know, it's okay, I got them at other the, the places. Uh, we saw you just uh, giving your autobiography, gifting your autobiography to Indian captain Rohit Sharma. What kind of conversation you had with him? Do you follow Indian cricket team? Yeah, I, um, well, I've always followed, um, you know, what the English, the, the, your, your um, team is doing. Uh, because, you know, your, in our day, um, you know, it was a, a good thing too, but not to the extent as you have now. You know, there's so, so many great players now coming out of, of India that um, I'd say something, I think that um, there are lots of, perhaps I might be wrong, but I think there are many players in India that would play in other teams quite easily, but they hardly put, get into your side. That happens sometimes when you, you know, when you're a great team. Reverend, tell us more, a little bit about the book, please. Well, the book is, well, it's a, not a cricket book, it's, it, it's really, um, my life, okay, and uh, it tells from the, my beginnings um, where I was um, one of these guys that from the proletariat 
And, um, you know, I felt that when I was eight years old, I felt that the best way out of it would be to, first of all, have a, a good education and you know, a high school, not to pay for it, because we can afford. And um, the other one is that I wanted to pay for the West Indies. I thought that if I played for the West Indies, by the time I was 30, I'd be a millionaire. That wasn't so. I was 30, 35, all sorts of things. But, um, you know, I, I felt that that is what I wanted to do. But people felt that, you know, felt like you will not make it. But um, I did, and um, I was very happy to play in your country. You know, that was the second time I, I played in England, and then I played in, 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 in Australia. And I played about three times against India. Very, very, very good, you know. So yeah, um, apart from that, um, I didn't, I didn't know any less um, sort of, you know, play for the West Indies. I, I coached them, I managed them, I was the president. I, you know, I represent them at the IC. Right? So I think I had a good run with them. I also was uh, the chairman of. Of, um, you know, whenever you're picking the tide. And um, that's difficult. In those days, it was the diffi most difficult um, job in the world. It was not paid, so it was the worst unpaid job in the world to be, you know, given up. So, um, apart from that, I, I went into politics for 20, 22 years in politics. Um, I I did every, this book will tell you exactly what other people asked me to do. Sometimes I wasn't qualified to do it. For instance, I would not have been, um, you know, someone in the, uh, the those who, uh, uh, those people who go overseas as uh, diplomats. But, but if the Prime Minister calls me and asks me to do something with it, I'll do it. You know, I'm lucky that it went okay. So, um, another one too, in Trinidad, I, played in, Trin in, in Trinidad, and you know, a priest asked me to um, come and help him in a, a, com a com the company um, that I was keeping was very good, but it was, um, you know, when you get some of those um, areas that have a bad reputation, yeah. but yeah, well, we went in there, and I think that after 30 or 40 years, it's still there. So those are things that have happened, and I think they're about 30 or 40 about that, that people asked me to do it. Whether it was cricket, yes. Whether it was politics, yes. Whether it was doing, you know, helping others. Um, that was what I wanted to do, help people as fast as I can do. Now you sit in a... Now you sit right. And unless you could, um, you know, get your balance going, and then, hmm. just like a horse, in a race, you know, you just like that when it goes on. Yeah. You have to do that. If you don't do that, you're going to be in trouble. How long would the, I mean, what were your times for 10 miles? Oh, I didn't worry about times. <laughs> I didn't tell you how many times I did it. Yeah. Two times a, day, a week. <laughs> when yeah. you see today's cricket and uh, when you played, like, uh, how do you see the difference and, like, uh, when you compare the standards, how do you feel about it when today's pace bowling? Well, you know, um, one has to be aware that things will change. I mean, if Grace saw um, the, the players in my time, they would be wondering about it. Now, we are wondering what's happening, especially as you go into the um, area where you play the, 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 you know, the, the game of 20, 20, 20 overs. Um, I think that um, there are certain things that I wonder about. I just wonder why would batsmen be able to um, bat through the hole um, easy, whether it's, um, whether it's um, at a 500 or 20 overs, and, th and, the, and the bowlers are restricted to four. I often ask that. And, um, but it seems to me that, you know, if that goes on all the time, you'll probably find that people will pick the clean one. Mm. Do you um, think baseballers are getting kind of killed in this 
in this format the way the cricket is being played now they are, there will be no base bowlers around well god forbid that that doesn't happen because um the art of bowling fast is one that you know you want to see it forever and ever um but what would happen is that when people who have another two years to go they'll say i'll go and make some money and, you know um but you can't really um you can't really had any money and then you know in six months he could get a million dollars or something like that you know and but then you then still have to consider your country and you know and something has to be done whereby we will have um anybody could play but you know you will be in a position to, because you can't stop a fella who has never had money but he's a great cricketer and is there Fascinates well, my position is that um, we in the West Indies have, um, you know, we, we spinners have never really, uh, except Ramadan, Valentine, and Lance Gibbs, mm -hmm. we have not had um, those who will win the races. But in the amount of uh, fast bowlers, I mean, we've got at least 25 or so, mm -hmm. you know. It's just a like India who had. Capital Dell. Now, I didn't see anybody else in, with that standard, but now look what's happening. You know, your fast bowlers are really, you know, pretty good. Anyone who really, who you really like, Bumba? Yeah, they, 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 I like it's really and Bumba and the other two. Um, they're very good bowlers. I mean, look what happened the other night. You know, <laughs> it looked as if it would be a bad night and fellas come on, you know. With only five overs to go, and mm -hmm. you, you only have to get two or three, yeah, yeah. and you know it puts, you know. Yeah, so yeah, I, that's what I think. So just one thing, guys. Just to think, this wasn't planned. This was just oh, yeah. a, an activation to present his book. So the yeah. focus is that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's a privilege because you know, uh, as your team get better, they got to run out of space. So um, you'll see that um, they, you know, Gwyneth and Haynes, and and sometimes you now have to do it at the ends. You know, like Marshall, who to me was the greatest fast bowler of all time. In fact, I said that once when I, well, I'm a, I'm a priest, so I, I, um, I, 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 I sort of um, was very happy to do his funeral, and um, I said that he was the greatest fast bowler of all times. I think some people, you can hear a, a, a pin drop, you know, but I've heard now many reputable cricketers all have said Malcolm was the best. I think, they were, I think they were all in agreement, that's no, why you could hear a pin drop. Yeah. Yeah, 21 years ago, oh, I tell you all, they weren't too prepared yet for that, yeah. So yes, you know, I, um, I've tried my best to do whatever I do, could do to help people. And hence I went into politics, you know. And um, it, it's all in, in, in the book. And um, I regret that I don't hear that. I don't think it's in, in India, um, the book. Um, and I'm... I'm just wondering what I need to do to get it there. Maybe get it on Kindle. Get your publishers to get a Kindle version of it so that it can be read online so you don't have to physically send the Oh, yes. Books. Well, I was told about that because people haven't got that time now to sit down and, you know, spend three hours in a book. But they could easily do so when they could just pick up one part and go back to it again. Yes. We, got, we got Raul Travis coming, so you can present yes. to the Indian coach. Yes. Thanks, Reverend. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
you paid for a for, 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 uh, 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 voice of music. Uh, what do you remember of uh, not the cricket but other things from India? Well, uh, to be honest with you, I was so young. I can play my I my I got to England before and I really can run properly. And um, if you can't run properly to bowl, you're in trouble. And that happened me, they didn't know that. But anyway, I took a year off that myself. One year off. And then ran eight, ten miles a day. Oh. And then by the time I got to play for, in India, um, I only got into the team because Frank World did not. He was at the university.